Hello again, it's Greg here uh, at Worldwide Solar Marketing. In previous videos, I've been talking about and showing you how to set up your photos and use them in your Google business listing to help lift your ranking in, uh, in Google search results. Uh, in this video, I want to show you how to check whether your images have actually been set up properly. And it's a very, very simple process. What you want to do is load up your website on your desktop computer or laptop and simply pick one of the images. I've just chosen a random website here. Pick one of your images and simply right click on the image and go save as. Once it loads up on your computer, you'll save it as some, somewhere on your computer. It doesn't really matter where you save it because you're going to go back to it later, but probably easiest to do it uh, on your desktop. And it will show you down here the name of the image. So that's the first clue. If the image just has a name such as image1.jpg, it's a pretty good clue that this image hasn't been set up properly to help people find you in Google. In this case, uh, it's not too bad. It's, it's uh, set up as uh, the name of the image is services day spa packages. So that's okay. So the next step is to save that image. Now, once you've saved the image, uh, you can then go to that image and have a look at what properties it has in it. So if we open up a, a file explorer, we can see in here that there's the image there. And you right click on that image once it's on your computer and go to properties. Now in properties, it tells you a whole bunch of things. What you want to do is go across from general to security to details. And in details, here's where all the magic happens. Here's where the tags, uh, the GPS locations, uh, the comments and the authors uh, lie. And that sort of information helps Google identify where this picture was taken, what it's about. And then when somebody is searching for what you sell and Google finds this picture and it closely matches what people are searching for, it helps Google show that picture and therefore your website or your Google business listing to uh, that searcher. In this case, this image hasn't been set up properly at all. So there's no title. Uh, there's no subject. Uh, there are no tags uh, suggesting what this image is about or what the business sells. There's nothing in comments and there's nothing in author. I'm going to show you what you need to uh, put into those things to make it work for you. Further down, there's definitely no GPS data showing where the picture was taken. Now, if you're using a smartphone uh, with a GPS chip in it, it will automatically apply GPS uh, locations to that image. But if you've bought the image from somewhere uh, or you've taken it on a standard uh, camera that doesn't have a GPS chip in it, it won't uh, record that information. So you need to insert it manually. Now, if we go to another uh, bunch of pictures that we've uh, uh, itemized here, we've downloaded, uh, I'll show you a different website. Uh, let's have a look at this one. So what we've done here is we've downloaded all of these images into the computer and we've actually set these up with all of the right tags in them. So if I select all of those images at once and then right click on properties, open up the properties, it will show the detail of everything that's in this, uh, in these images. So it has uh, multiple values. So each image has a different title. Uh, it has uh, tags in here. You can see in here that we've applied a bunch of tags that might be relative to what people are searching for. Uh, in the comments, we've actually put the name, address, and phone number of the business. And in the author's uh, field, we've actually put the web address of that business. Now, that all helps Google point these images at people who are searching for what you sell. If we scroll down further, we can see in here that right there is the latitude and longitude of the business. So we've applied all that. And now what we do is we re-upload those pictures to the website. So before we actually re-upload, we make sure that all of those GPS details are in the image. 
So we've used a, a program here called uh, GeoSetup, and you can see in each of these images, there's a, a latitude and a longitude. And in this case, it's uh, one of the websites that we look after for uh, a member in uh, the UK, uh, in a town called Great Missenden, just outside London. So once they're all applied, we can then grab those images, go back to the website and re-upload them so that they're uh, properly tagged, uh, they're all set up and what we call optimised for uh, search results for that particular website. Now you can see the effect of this by doing a search yourself. Go to Google Incognito. I've just done a search, uh, a broad search up the top here. And if you look under images, uh, you'll see here that image, that image, uh, that image, that image, uh, that image, all of those images are from that particular um, search and that website and that business. If you go back to the uh, main search, you'll see here they're top on the Google business listings and organically they're one, two, three, four, etc. So that salon for that search, that business dominates uh, because partly because of that image optimization process. So if that's been of any uh, help, I hope so. Uh, if you need more help on that, uh, don't forget to get in contact with us. Uh, we can certainly help you out, uh, walk you through that process or set it up for you. Uh, so thanks for watching.